What is going on everybody? Today we are at an undisclosed location because I found an abandoned Monte Carlo and this is just a really cool sight to see. Um, it reminds me of the car from Fast and Furious Tokyo Drift and it's just really awesome and I love to try to actually find out who owns the property and get the car. So I want to show you it and let's check it out. It is awesome. So here is the beginning of the driveway. It doesn't look like anybody has been in here in quite some time. And there's also a couple other GM products here besides the Monte Carlo sitting back there. A couple Cadus, an older one and a newer one. And a cool van over here. Here's the Monte. This is the beast that I love the most. This thing is awesome. I believe she's a 70. Sadly, a tree or something, I'm assuming a tree hit the roof and broke the windshield. She appears to be all there though. And pretty freaking solid from what I could see. It's completely full of stuff. And just buried back there. It's got the rally wheels on it though. Oh, I can't see inside to see if it is a factory manual or automatic car, nor get the hood, I don't think, open really, to see if it is a big block. Because imagine if this was a factory stick big block, that would be so cool. But I'm gonna climb back here. Definitely has been here for quite some time. The last inspection sticker is from 2004. But I mean, <laughs> for sitting here for 16 years, it looks to be pretty decent. Whoa, 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 I hope those aren't bees. There is a bunch of things over here. Oh, the rear glass is intact, so I haven't been getting a bunch of moisture in there. I wish I could get you guys a better view, but obviously she is very buried in here. I'm back into this area. <laughs> Look at the van sitting over there too. Pretty cool old shag and wagon. Climb back out of here. Pick of the van, I guess, too. Completely buried. Everything is completely buried. Can't see inside any of them either. <laughs> right there. I love the look of the front end of these. The one headlight looks so nice. Let's take a uh, quick look at the van though. It's, it has the, uh, the rear louvers on the windows there. And it has the big uh, sidestep skirt that goes around the wheels. <laughs> uh, this thing would probably look pretty cool out in the open, I must say. No windows and everything. <laughs> it's awesome. I would love to pull these beasts out. What's the sticker on this one? 91! Oh my goodness. Wow. She has been here a long time. Let me go up in the stairs, I can get a little bit of an overhead view of these things. Oh yeah. It looks solid though. For sitting here for 30 years, I mean, it, it doesn't look like it. It really doesn't. 
leave a comment if you're interested. As in what is in this garage. No windows, all boarded up. Could be the crown jewel in there, guys. They like GMs too, so maybe like an RSSS Camaro. You never know. You never know. I, I want to know, but there's no windows. I'm not going to obviously break into anything. I just love the cars and looking at them. <laughs> I think this is where we're going to wrap it, guys. Because I can't get any deeper into these beasts. I tried my best to climb through all this stuff to get a good view. I'm just super glad that I was able to film this and show you. And I'm definitely going to try to inquire about who owns them. Because I would love to get these two rigs. But as always, make sure to leave a like, a comment, and I will see you all in the next one. Peace!